the new kind changed things a little bit. So from the company's perspective, the company voice has gotten a little bit smaller because all of the employees of the company also have voices. It's kind of weird. Like you don't notice that this has changed, but within companies, all of a sudden there are people that are powerful. Everyone from, think about this Apple example of the guy leaving a phone the other day um, and pre-announcing a new Apple product is probably a pretty scary example of that, but within companies, there's tons of people who have their own blogs. Some companies have hundreds or thousands of employees blogging. Everybody has a voice, so the official company message, the we are, we say, we do, is now accompanied by a set of, I say, coming from employees that, oh, by the way, they also work for the company, so even if it's not the official company line, it's still part of the company line, and the customer is hearing that. Well, the second thing that happened is the customer all of a sudden got a mouth, And that's what the web enabled, right? So through blogs, through social media, blah, blah, all the stuff we talk about all the time. Now the customer can also have a voice in what the brand is. And now the customer is saying, you are. You say, you do. And so it's not just the company official voice anymore. It's a combination of all of these. And oh, by the way, these people can all talk to each other, and they all have voices. And all those voices together come together to represent what the brand is now. So a brand building activity before was, here's what I say, we are, and the customer goes, that's what you are. And now the new, new version looks a little bit more complicated. 